Welcome to the cinematic waters of 1,978 Seconds Parada, a film that not only carved a niche in the annals of horror, but also left an indelible mark on the industry. As we dive into the depths of this aquatic thriller, two questions beckon. Do you harbor a cherished memory link to this movie, or what enduring qualities transform it into a timeless emblem of the film landscape? Before we plunge further, consider your own cherished moments or insights. What personal experience with Piranha has stood the test of time for you? Share your stories and memories in the comments below, we'd love to hear them. Now, let's set the stage for some intriguing tidbits about this cinematic venture. Did you know that director Joe Dante and producer Roger Corman, in their pursuit of aquatic terror, birthed a film that went on to become a cult classic? A blend of suspense, B-movie charm, and a touch of humor has proven to be a winning formula. It's a testament to the film's enduring qualities that continue to captivate audiences. What makes Piranha a remarkable symbol of the industry isn't just its creature feature allure. It's the clever interplay of tension and humor, the deft execution of a premise that could have easily veered into campiness. The movie stands as a testament to the power of entertainment gripping, amusing, and, above all, memorable. So, what's your enduring impression of Piranha? What makes it an everlasting symbol for you? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let the conversation flow. Your stories and insights are the lifeblood of our community. We look forward to hearing from you. Piranha, released in 1978 and directed by Joe Dante, is a cult classic horror film that emerged during the height of the creature feature craze sparked by Jaws. The story unfolds when a military experiment to create a breed of carnivorous fish goes awry, leading to a school of lethal piranhas being accidentally released into a river connected to a popular resort. As chaos ensues and the deadly fish terrorize unsuspecting vacationers, a determined investigator and a spirited local skip tracer race against time to prevent a catastrophic disaster. The film masterfully blends horror with elements of comedy, showcasing Joe Dante's unique directorial style. Boasting a witty script and inventive practical effects, Piranha manages to pay homage to its predecessor while establishing its own identity within the genre. The characters, including the resourceful investigator and the bold skip tracer, add depth to the narrative, while the relentless piranhas serve as iconic symbols of terror. The film, though initially considered a B-movie, has garnered a lasting legacy for its entertaining blend of suspense and humor. Piranha has left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent creature features and earning a place in the hearts of horror enthusiasts. Its success paved the way for Joe Dante's illustrious career, establishing him as a maestro of blending horror and humor in a uniquely captivating way. In essence, Piranha is more than a creature feature. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of inventive storytelling in the realm of horror cinema. In the cluttered lab scenes of the 1978 movie Piranha, there's a blink and yell miss it moment that pays homage to Ray Harryhausen. As the main characters explore, a small two-legged humanoid lizard creature scuttles across a countertop, a stop-motion monster intended to make recurring appearances, growing larger each time. Joe Dante originally envisioned ending the film with a giant version attacking a pier, but budget constraints redirected the focus to the infamous rubber fish. Notably, Heather Menzies Urich and Bradford Dillman, the film's leads, passed away within a four-week span in December 2017 and January 2018, marking a poignant connection beyond the screen. Additionally, Piranha served as an early canvas for effects and makeup maestros Rob Bodden and Phil Tippett, laying the foundation for their illustrious careers in the industry. These behind-the-scenes tidbits add layers to the cult classic, showcasing the creative intentions and unforeseen connections that contribute to the enduring legacy of Piranha. Piranha, shot in a swift 30 days on a modest budget of $660,000, stands as a testament to efficiency in filmmaking. The 1978 cult classic, directed by Joe Dante, emerged during the creature feature craze sparked by Jaws. Beyond its on-screen narrative, the film's production nuances add intriguing layers to its legacy. Heather Menzies Urich, one of the film's leads, faced a unique situation during filming. Concerned about a nude scene, a crew member improvised by approaching a waitress in the holiday and where the crew stayed. The unexpected casting decision not only highlights the resourcefulness of the production team, but also adds a distinctive behind-the-scenes anecdote to Piranha's history. 
The film, adapted from the novelization, delves into the character Maggie's unconventional journey. Fueled by a broken relationship, she hires a private detective, only to later become one herself. This offbeat character development, not explored in the film, adds depth to the Piranha universe and showcases the narrative possibilities beyond the screen. In the cluttered lab scenes, a blink and yell missed homage to Ray Harryhausen unfolds. A small two-legged lizard creature, a stop-motion creation, scuttles across a countertop. Originally intended to grow larger in recurring appearances, budget constraints redirected the focus to the infamous rubber fish, underscoring the challenges and choices made during production. Piranha's impact extends beyond its runtime, serving as an early canvas for effects and makeup maestros Rob Bodden and Phil Tippett. Their involvement laid the foundation for illustrious careers in the industry, contributing to the enduring legacy of the 1978 creature feature. These behind-the-scenes insights, from budget constraints to unconventional casting decisions, enrich the narrative surrounding Parada. As the film continues to captivate audiences, the layers of its production history add to its enduring appeal and cultural significance. Peter Fonda's rejection of the role of Paul Grogan in the 1978 movie Piranha marked a pivotal moment in the film's casting history. Initially offered the part, Fonda's decision opened the door for Bradford Dillman to step into the role. Dillman, however, expressed dissatisfaction with the perceived flatness of his character. In a revealing exchange with writer John Sayles, Dillman questioned the depth of his role, prompting an intriguing insight into the filmmaking process. Sayles, explaining the deliberate simplicity in character development, disclosed that Roger Corman, a renowned B-movie producer, often opted not to delve into intricate character portrayals. This revelation sheds light on the unique dynamics between filmmakers and actors within the context of B-movie productions. Dillman, being a seasoned actor, found himself navigating the challenge of enriching his character's dimensions, providing a glimpse into the collaborative nature of filmmaking. Moreover, director Joe Dante's revelation about the manipulation of NPAA ratings adds another layer to the 1978 Piranha's production history. Dante, in collaboration with Roger Corman, employed a strategic approach to censorship. They submitted the film to the MPAA, implemented the suggested cuts to avoid an X rating, and then discreetly reinstated the edited scenes before distribution. This methodological approach reveals the filmmaker's determination to navigate the constraints imposed by censorship, while ensuring the film's intended impact on audiences. In summary, the casting decisions, character development challenges, and strategic handling of censorship concerns provide intriguing insights into the making of the 1978 movie Piranha. These behind-the-scenes aspects contribute to the film's unique narrative and offer a deeper understanding of the creative decisions that shaped its final form. As we wrap up this cinematic journey through the depths of 1,978 seconds piranha, I invite you to let the echoes of this aquatic adventure linger in the recesses of your memory. Take a moment to reflect on the thrilling currents of nostalgia that this film may have stirred within you. Perhaps it's the adrenaline rush of the perilous river expedition, the suspenseful encounters with carnivorous fish, or the charmingly vintage special effects that transport you back to a simpler cinematic era. Your connection with Piranha is a tapestry woven with your unique experiences and perceptions. Whether you first encountered it in the glow of a dimly lit theater, or through the comfort of your living room screen, this film has become a thread in the fabric of your personal cinematic history. I encourage you to share your favorite Piranha memories, the scenes that still send shivers down your spine, or the characters hove etched themselves into your movie-loving heart. Let the conversation flow like the river that carried our protagonists into the jaws of danger. Your thoughts, like a school of piranhas, add depth to the collective experience of this cult classic. Thank you for immersing yourself in the world of Piranha and allowing its currents to sweep you away. Your time and insights are truly appreciated as they contribute to the ongoing celebration of this cinematic gem. Until our next exploration into the realms of film, keep the waters of nostalgia flowing.